Now we begin the tutorial of making an OZ racing rims. Firstly, click on the Z point of view. Then add a picture of the a reference picture. Reference picture. Voila. Uh, now we zoom in and take a look at the geometric shape of the of the rims okay turn on the x-ray now we're good we're going to we're not exactly good okay because the rims is not centered hold on back to the z and we are going to rotate Z wise, press R and Z to somewhat somewhat align the. I'm going to use this align the the little spokes. Okay. Okay, we're good to go now. We are going to to edit mode. Edit mode. And then we're going to press press control R. And we're going to slice this like uh, like that back to the Z view so select the vertices scale it down scale this down or so scale this down the stu the most stupid scaling method on earth okay remove this like so and this like so and this like so okay we're gonna zoom in scale a little bit more it's still not aligned but you get the point okay now I got a scale this and scale this so we got a almost similar similar almost similar similar shape to the real rim but we're not going realistic okay I'm just showing you how to do it. We're gonna we're now we're going to use the array array use the array modifier. I'm going to uh, hide the hide the picture so you can see the the you can see the real shape of the of the geometrical shape okay now what i'm going to do is select this click the secondary button and then okay and then we are going to go to the mesh 
and find from the edit mode we got the shape and we hide the reference now we're going to object mode because we're going to to do this object set origin point of the object to the 3d cruiser this is the 3d cruiser so this object now pivoting on this this 3d on in the center of the 3d cruiser please watch don't move the 3d cruiser before you 3d cruiser lagi 3d cruiser ya bener uh, before you do this so this is set now what we're going to do on the object mode is add another empty plane axis to act as a as a rotating anchor for this this one because we're going to to use the to use this to use this array modifier uh, like this we're going to use this object offset we have count the spokes and it is it was 15 right okay right now we're going to object offset is the offset will follow the object so the object is the the empty number one okay now we select the empty number one and we rotate on the z axis and see what happens the 15 spokes suddenly appear why do birds suddenly appear like so there you have it we have the spokes already already in place Ta -da! now now we're going to unhide this the the any and the unhide the reference and there you go we already somewhat somewhat uh, succeeded in making the spokes now how about this okay now we're going to add another circular mesh wow Wow, the reference is not centered yet again. So I'm going to turn uh, to to select the uh, going to the edit mode. Select the select the the circle and then extrude scale by pressing E and S now i'm going to make this as close as possible like so okay now we're going to use the the solidify modifier and give it some thickness give some thickness according to whatever according to the real thing okay now we're getting this we're getting this wow who's that racing guys oh my god okay don't worry now 
We begin again. And hide and unhide the dish to keep track of the keep track of the model. Now we're going back to the dish view and then back to object mode and add another circular and then scale it because we cannot see it now there there okay press e and s extruded eh. oh no 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 i'm sorry <laughs> we're not in the edit mode yet press e and s and scale it scale it very little like this and then the rest you can you 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 have to you have to extrude it uh, accordingly and then but this is the basic idea how to do it if you uh, how to do it the simple way okay Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorials. Ta-da!